Hello everyone, and welcome back for another video. On this update, we are going to talk about my predictions for the upcoming month of April. Without further ado, let's begin. Here is my precipitation forecast. We have a large brown area that covers a significant portion of the United States, which represents where I expect some pretty dry conditions overall. Please do note that dry conditions doesn't mean no precipitation, it just means that most areas within this brown region will likely see more dry days rather than rainy days. This big green area that covers a portion of the Pacific Northwest and the eastern part of the country represents rainy, snowy, or stormy conditions. The darker shade of green is where I expect even more precipitation, due to most storm systems tracking through this area in April, bringing severe weather and rain to the south, and perhaps some snowfall to the northern tier of the country. Now for the temperature forecast. The probability of above average temperature starts to go up in this lightest orange shade, stretching from California to Minnesota. As these orange shades get darker, expect the likelihood of above average temperatures to increase. The only area of the country that has a chance at seeing below average temperatures in the month of April is the Pacific Northwest, due to the meteorological influence from La Nina. The white area in between should expect near average temperatures. Once we move into April, the first light of the hurricane season starts to show itself. Tropical systems are very rare in April in the North Atlantic Ocean, although this yellow shaded area in this map is the general area in which most tropical systems have formed during this time of the year. There is certainly no cause for alarm from tropical weather for this time of the year, but it is good to know that it is possible, especially if you live somewhere like Bermuda Island. And now for my severe weather forecast for April. Please note that this is based on my predictions, and may not be 100% accurate for some locations. Severe weather may still occur outside of the red and purple colors I have shaded in. The first layer covers an area from the northeast to the central plains, then down into Texas. This area is the possible zone, so be on the lookout for severe weather if you live within this area. The darker red shade is the likely zone, which covers places from North Carolina up into western Pennsylvania, then down to the Great Plains. A few severe weather events are very possible for anyone in this region, so be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions. The last area is this pink shade, which is the high-risk zone. If you live anywhere from Oklahoma to the southeast, I do expect you to be under the greatest threat for severe thunderstorms, which will include tornadoes, large hail, and damaging wind. And now for the last portion of our discussion, the overall forecast. We will start in the Pacific Northwest. This area can expect a general cool and rainy April, due to Pacific storms that will be coming through. Expect overall warmth and dryness once you move into this light orange shade, covering all of the southwest United States and surrounding area, with very warm and drought conditions in this brown color, from California to Texas. Expect chilly temperatures in this light blue shade, from northeast Montana down to the Great Lakes and into the northeast, with some milder temperatures possible at times, especially later in the month. The wildcard zone stretches from Idaho to New England, due to multiple types of weather expected. Warmth and cold, and rain, snow, and severe weather are all weather conditions that could affect different portions of this area. This dark green color represents warm temperatures and wet conditions. Multiple storm systems will track through the eastern half of the country in April, bringing rainy and stormy conditions to this area, with severe weather likely at times. The last area is in the red. This is the high-risk severe weather threat zone, so be on the lookout for severe thunderstorms more than any other type of weather if you live here. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this forecast, and I hope to see you on the next video.